Yes, I am an artist. And yes, I am an artist advocate. And those two pieces are important components. I am about positive imaging. It uh, is at the core of everything that I do. My work is really about my people. It's about me attempting to capture uh, the positive nuances and subtleties of day-to-day -day life in the African-American community because you can't find that in movies, even in 21st century uh, TV, even in 21st century uh, music, even in 21st century. Who am I? What is my artwork about? I'm often asked that question, and uh, I guess the easiest way for me to articulate that is that I feel like I'm, I'm the two parts. Yes, I'm a visual artist, but I am also an artist advocate. I think that those two parts of me are equal, and I also think those two parts of me govern how I approach doing my work. Uh, as a child, when creating my artwork, I copied off of comic books, Marvel, DC. Uh, of course, I watched the same black and white TV shows as everybody else did. But it was apparent to me at an early age that something was missing. Um, I would do black comic book characters. All of my comic book characters that I liked were African American. It seemed that everything I liked that was in the media um, was absent of African American people. And I'm talking, I was born in the 60s. And to be of that awareness at that young age, I think manifested itself in my work later on. Uh, but as I got older and as I, uh, especially when I attended Micah, I think that something struck me. And that was that I could affect change by creating positive images and, and creating the images that I saw lacking in my upbringing. So my artwork is about unity. It's about uh, family. It's about struggle. It's about perseverance. If I try to attempt to describe my style, I really don't talk about a style because I'm a multidisciplinary artist. What I will say is that um, I'm a second generation artist. I watched my father paint. He was self-taught. Um, another footnote is that I studied uh, graphic design at Micah. I did not study illustration or painting. Um, I was a closet illustrator for most of my life. I went to a vocational high school where I learned how to do sign painting. So I won't really talk about that too much, but I had to set that up for me being an artist because I think sometimes the arts have been very discriminatory. I uh, attended Micah as a graduate, as a graphic design major. Uh, so when I embarked on becoming a quote unquote artist or visual artist, uh, people kept trying to put me inside of a box. Well, you're, you're, you're a graphic artist, you're not a fine artist. And so um, I immediately got faced with uh, the divisions in those two things. So my art really is about my people. It's about trying to capture our culture. It's about trying to encapsulate our culture at a time when we're being practically dropped or misrepresented in everything. And even exploited at times, because if you look at commercials on TV, you see uh, a lot of African-American influence and, and everything. But get back to art and what moves me being able to present positive representations of who we are as a people is been my life's work. And I found a way to uh, really focus and hone in on that. So when you look at my work, I have a couple of different things that I do. Uh, you may see a, a real thin line that I do in a lot of my work. You may see a transparency in my work. Uh, I tend to try to capture the oneness of our people and our family. Uh, but that also comes from my, my graphic training. But I love African symbolism. I love African history. Those things move me. You'll see uh, lots of references from Africa and the Caribbean in my work. Just by the nature of me um, really being moved by uh, cultural elements that appear even in my work. And I can say that 
after traveling to the Caribbean, traveling to Africa, I see a lot of the things that show up in my work subconsciously are, are things that are part of that culture. I also see the DNA imprinting of my father in my work because he had a particular way, being self-taught, of doing certain things and handling certain things. And I even see that showing in my work, in my quote-unquote style, even after 30 years of doing this. So I have also pieces that I call thought-provoking. So I have one pieces, I have some pieces that elevate our positivity and our, and our, and our cultural image um, most of them are very colorful. Most of them are family-based. Most of them show full families. Or I'll even break away and, and bring attention to some things that not a lot of people see in, in a lot of our art. Full families, African-American men being mentors in the community. I mean, uh, touching base on community-based things that are issues in our, in our culture, like uh, health issues, uh, uh, diabetes, uh, prostate cancer, the breast cancer, AIDS, you find all of that in my work. I found a way to tap into what really moves me uh, to create my work. I also have these these historically based pieces that are black and white usually. Uh, they're, they're collage pieces. I love doing collage work. Uh, they may be from 1960s and 70s periodicals. It might be from current newspapers. It might be dollar bills torn up. It might be a lot of ridiculous torn up. I, I just... Anything that I'm trying to capture, I try to put elements of that Bible scripture, um, historical uh, writing on certain subjects in this particular series. So you will see that serious side of me in the black and white pieces that are really trying to talk about specific issues in the African-American community. Or you'll see me doing the positive imaging because that's what I really feel like if I had to try to describe my work is what I'm attempting to do when I create my work. I'm, I'm totally immersed and positive imaging. Those pieces are usually very pleasing, very colorful, very harmonious, uh, a lot of movement. Um, so that's really at the core of what my work is about. But while doing that, uh, the advocacy side of me, I'm, I'm so pro Baltimore artists. I'm pro African American artists. So there are cross sections of Baltimore, for instance, where Baltimore artists have been totally slighted and, and, and really ignored. And so my advocacy side makes me curate uh, exhibitions. I've done some of living and, and deceased artists in Baltimore City. I've partnered with a lot of the local museums and cultural uh, um, uh, um, locations in Baltimore to do those types of exhibitions. So it, that, the advocacy part of me is so it's so alive and, and pertinent in my work that uh, I, I hope that when people view my portfolio, they can see the spirit of that in my work.